Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so excited for today's video because I decided to do something to go along with this big eclipse that's about to happen. It's actually tomorrow when I'm filming this. I'm so excited. I think everyone is kind of like, what's gonna happen? I'm so excited for it to happen. This is something that's so cool that I'll probably never see again. And it's actually right near where I live that I'll be able to see it. So I decided to make a little treat for the eclipse. And today I decided to make homemade moon pies because who doesn't love moon pies? I've never actually made these from scratch and it was kind of funny while making them. I didn't even realize that the cookie inside of it was what it was. Like it's graham cracker flavored, so it's pretty much just like a giant s'more. This is what they look like. I love how they turned out. Moon pies are so cute, and these definitely look like they are homemade, and that's what I love about them. I think that if you make them, they will not be a disappointment. It totally fits the theme for tomorrow's eclipse, and I think that your friends, neighbors, family are gonna love them. So if you wanna watch and learn how I made these moon pies, then please keep watching. So to start off my recipe, I'm going to be combining my ground graham crackers along with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm then gonna add in 3 fourths teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and I'm just going to be whisking all of my dry ingredients together. Now I've already combined my wet ingredients, which was butter, brown sugar, cane syrup, and a vanilla extract, and I, I will put that all in the description box down below of all the quantities. And I'm just going to be adding my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients a little bit at a time until I've added all of my dry ingredients. And then once that's all incorporated, I'm just going to be adding two tablespoons of milk in a slow and steady stream. And I'm going to mix that all together until it's completely combined. It will be a dough-like consistency because it does resemble a cookie. And then I'm just going to be putting my dough all together and flattening that out just so it makes the process of making circles down the road a little bit easier and once that's all together I'm going to pop that into the fridge for at least 15 minutes or you can let it sit overnight. Now I'm just taking that out of the fridge and unwrapping it and it will be nice and cold and it'll be so easy to cut whatever shape you decide but obviously we are doing moon pie so it needs to be circles. And this is actually a little bit of a secret tip that you can use if you don't have a circle cookie cutter you can just use a cup and I just used a glass wine glass to make it a little bit easier to cut it. And now I'm just putting my circles onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and I'm going to bake those for 10 to 12 minutes at 325 and do not go over 12 minutes I swear to you these will not brown but I promise you they are done. Now I'm just going to use a double broiler and I'm going to melt 16 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and I'm just going to be mixing that all together until it's nice and smooth. So now we can go ahead and start our assembly line. I would used about one and a half jars of marshmallow cream and I'm just going to be putting a big dollop on top of one of the cookies and then using another plain cookie with nothing on it and making that a sandwich. And that's all there is to this part. I'm just going to do that to all of my cookies. This recipe makes about 12 full sandwiches. Now for the chocolate part, once you're ready to use your chocolate, you just need to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to that and mix that all together so it's ready to go. And then you're just going to take two forks and place your sandwich, submerge it into the chocolate and then you can use your forks to cover the top of it with chocolate. And that's all there is to this part. A little trick that I use is to, once you're holding the sandwich over the chocolate, instead of dinging it onto the metal pan, tap your wrist and it'll get all the excess chocolate off a lot easier. And then I'm just going to be placing that on to my cookie sheet and I actually found that I probably should have used parchment paper so that these didn't stick to my pan, but that is okay. You learn as you go. So I'm just going to be putting all these onto my baking sheet and you just want to make sure that these fully chill before you eat them. So I actually placed them into the fridge overnight, but I think if you were to just let them sit for a couple hours that they would also be fine. And I did notice that I think the marshmallow got a little bit hot once I dipped it in the chocolate. So if it starts to slide, just move it over with your hand. It is no big deal. And this is the finished look. I love how they turned out. I think they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for stopping by and watching how I made these homemade moon pies. I love how they turned out and I think that you guys will too. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any videos in the future. And again, thank you for stopping by and see you guys later.